are to look towards the Word of God, we actually need to find instructions come forth for life. Many people use this uh, simple cross, basic instructions for leaving life. But to understand that everything that we do in this world is given that divine instruction unto our children, unto all those that observe our life, and we end up using the networks that are available to us today, we can literally go forth and create that immortality that we can live forever in a virtual essence because of our mind, our body. And we can change that thought in essence because of our understanding and our connection with our Creator. There is an amazing rebirth that happens within the Spirit. It is a baptism, but it is also a resurrection. A resurrection from the death of sin and to be alive in Christ. But it is to live forever in that essence. The idea is that each and every person has an ability to be able to see that divine immortality and the forgiveness of sin and to have that rebirth. When you call into the name of Jesus, name of our Savior, we end up receiving that and so much more. It is to understand the essence of the anointing that comes forth within that and then everything that is called for us. It is not simply to receive the blessing. It is to give the blessing to others as well. The idea of that. Now look at King David. Look at King Saul. And look at Sag and Shrill. Ended up having that. The prophets actually have the understanding that was necessary to give the anointing. And because of that, because of the blessing God was given to them, they also received not only the instruction from the prophet himself, the instruction from Samuel, to actually have a relationship with Samuel, they also ended up receiving after that the divine instruction. You can see where it changed, where Saul went from having the divine understanding of God, and then the blessing was put into David. And we see that Saul goes and speaks to a soothsayer. He went to divine. But that's the idea is that David came to a portion to where the way that he spoke with God and what is given unto God's anointed is mirrored in the words of King David within the Psalms. It also is in all of the prophets. We can look at Isaiah, you can look at Jeremiah. The connection that they had, the ability for them to ask God where we are going as a country, as individuals, and then to reflect that, to have that reflection of divinity and to show forth unto others, to everyone around us, how we can make the changes necessary for us to ascend into a higher level of existence to be able to not only view the world the way that we see it, but to ask God to give us a glimpse of the way that He sees it, to have that reflection. Sometimes God can take it, the Spirit of God, and use it as a mirror. David said, my sins are constantly before me, but that created a conviction within him that led him into a life where he would become known as a great king. Even with all of the sins, murders, wars, his love for Bathsheba. He was forgiven for everything because he had a heart for God. That's what I want to give you today. That's my prayer for you. It's forgiveness for sin and for you to have a heart after God. When we call him the name of Jesus, the name of salvation, we receive that divinity. God gives us that ability through the Holy Spirit to see our lives, to see where we are, to look where our country's going, and to share it with everyone. It's so much more than sharing the video, sharing the Word of God, being able to share the Spirit and the essence of the living God. That's the blessing that I want to give to you. I want you to give Jesus to someone today. And if you haven't said it, I want you to make that affirmation. Christ is the Lord, and Jesus is the Lord. God bless. God bless America.